In a secluded valley, shrouded in mist and mystery, lay the village of Ebenhart. It was a place forgotten by time, hidden away from the bustling world, and haunted by a curse that had plagued its inhabitants for generations. The villagers spoke of lost souls, restless spirits, and a darkness that lingered in the air. The curse was said to have begun centuries ago. During a time of great turmoil and sorrow, a powerful sorcerer named Maldrake had sought to conquer the land and bend its people to his will. The villagers, however, resisted his dark magic and fought valiantly to protect their homes. In a final act of desperation, Maldrake cast a forbidden spell that backfired. Imprisoning his own soul and the souls of countless villagers within the boundaries of Ebenhart. As the years passed, Ebenhart became a village frozen in time, a realm where day and night blended together and the seasons lost their meaning. The villagers' lives were bound to the curse, and they became spectral echoes of their former selves, unable to move on to the afterlife. They wandered the cobblestone streets, trapped in a perpetual existence of longing and despair. Among the villagers was a young woman named Alara. She possessed an indomitable spirit and an unyielding determination to break the curse that had held her people captive for so long. Alara had grown up listening to the stories of lost souls and haunted spirits. And she believed that there must be a way to free them from their torment. Alara's quest for a solution led her deep into the heart of the cursed forest that surrounded Ebenhart. Legends whispered of a hidden grove, a place untouched by the curse's grasp, where an ancient tree known as the Life-Giver stood. It was said that this tree held the key to breaking the curse and releasing the souls trapped within the village. Facing treacherous paths and malevolent spirits, Ilara's determination never wavered. With each step, she uncovered more about the curse's origins and the sacrifices made by her ancestors to protect the world from Maldrake's darkness. She learned that the curse could only be undone by finding the three lost artifacts, the Tear of Dawn, the Whispering Amulet, and the Phoenix Feather. Her journey was fraught with danger, but Alara's courage and unwavering faith in the power of love and redemption guided her. Along the way, she formed unexpected alliances with spectral beings who had retained their humanity despite the curse's hold. Together, they faced trials and tribulations, unearthing hidden truths and confronting the darkness that had plagued Ebenhart for centuries. As Alara gathered the artifacts, she felt the weight of centuries of suffering pressing down upon her shoulders. With the artifacts assembled, she stood before the life-giver tree, the nexus of the curse's power. With a heart full of hope, she channeled the energy of the artifacts, and a brilliant light enveloped the grove. The curse's hold began to weaken, and the lost souls started to find release. In a climactic battle against the residual darkness, Alara faced a manifestation of Maldrake's vengeful spirit. The struggle was fierce, but Alara's unyielding determination and the support of the freed souls gave her the strength to defeat the malevolent sorcerer once and for all. As his spirit dissipated, the curse shattered like a fragile illusion. Ebenhart was bathed in light as the curse's grasp was finally broken. The lost souls found their peace and departed for the afterlife, leaving behind a village that was no longer haunted by darkness. The seasons returned, and time resumed its natural course. The cobblestone streets bustled with life once more as Ebenhart thrived anew. Alara, now a symbol of hope and resilience, became the guardian of Ebenhart's history. Ensuring that the sacrifices of the past were never forgotten. The tale of the cursed village haunted by lost souls became a legend, a reminder of the power of love, courage, and the indomitable human spirit to overcome even the darkest of curses.